In our health alert tonight, roughly 18 million Americans have sleep apnea. Yeah, but for those who also struggle with daytime sleepiness, a new study finds this could up your risk of developing heart disease. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now with more. Roughly 18 million Americans have sleep apnea, but for those who also struggle with daytime sleepiness, a new study finds this could increase your risk for developing heart disease. Now, sleep apnea is a potentially serious sleep disorder, and I'm very familiar with it because I have this condition as well. Now, what happens with this disorder is that at night when you're sleeping, your breathing stops and starts. There are different types of sleep apnea that have different reasons for happening, but obstructive sleep apnea is the more common form and this is when your breathing gets interrupted because your throat muscles have relaxed and, and are blocking your airway and this can happen hundreds of times while you sleep and because of this your health can be affected in many ways for example you could struggle with daytime sleepiness difficulty paying attention irritability and it can also affect your heart now looking at this new study over 1200 people over 40 years of age were followed for nearly 12 years and they all had moderate to severe obstructive sleep apnea. And researchers found this, that those who are excessively sleepy during the day were more than three times as likely to develop heart failure. And during the study's follow-up period, they were twice as likely to experience heart attack, stroke, and even cardiovascular death. So if you've been diagnosed with sleep apnea, it's really important to take care of your health. So here are my prescriptions for you. First, please watch your weight. Extra pounds can collect around your airway, which can obstruct your breathing. For some folks, getting to and maintaining a healthy weight can actually reverse their sleep apnea. Secondly, be sure to exercise. 30 minutes of moderate exercise, five days a week, can really help ease sleep apnea symptoms. Also, if you smoke, please, please quit. Besides the numerous health benefits of quitting, Smoking, remember, increases the swelling of the airway, making sleep apnea worse. And finally, be sure that you're treating your sleep apnea. The most common device is the CPAP machine, which is what I use. You'd be surprised so many folks are not using their machine. So take care of your sleep apnea to improve your health. For 7 Action News, I'm Dr. Partha Nandy. Some good information, doctor. Thank you. And if you have a question or a health concern for the doctor, you can email him, drnandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.